Hey guys. So in this video tutorial, I want to show you how to use E-Rank to find your keywords for Etsy. It's a strategy I use all the time when I'm creating new products. It will give me new ideas and insights on how my competitors are doing, or is it something that I really even want to try making a listing for? Because a lot of times you want to make sure that every listing you're doing, there is demand and there's some kind of momentum going forward because Etsy can track if you create listings that are always in demand and that's always getting seen, uh, they'll definitely rank you higher up. So this is something that I do all the time before I create any listings. So this tool is called Keyword Explorer. It allows you to type in a keyword and you can find out the search trends, you know, see how the demand is going through, the market trends, and not just for Etsy, but you can find out on Pinterest, Google Shopping, and Amazon, and even eBay, right? So it's really good. You can pretty much find the demand and trends throughout all channels, all shopping channels, all the big ones, especially. So make sure to watch the whole video because I'm gonna go through a lot of it on what you can do with this tool and it'll be really beneficial for you. If this is your first time watching one of my videos and you want to learn how to grow a successful Etsy shop, make sure to stay tuned, hit that like button, subscribe and leave a comment if you've learned if you learn anything in this video so first thing before you can start using this tool is you need to create an account with e-rank and once you've done that you would just go up here click on tools and it's the first tab keyword explorer let's do necklace so we come down like i said before you find the search trends you get a summary of just overall uh, stats are the most important ones like the search competition the average click rate uh, and the uh, click-through rate and it's pretty awesome because you can see the searches within all different channels that like you got Etsy Pinterest Google Shopping Amazon eBay but right now we would just focus on Etsy because that's where we will be doing our listings um, so we come down here you can see all the different keyword phrases that are related with uh, necklace and this shows you obviously the top ones, but let's just let's just change this to a hundred, just so we can see, just so we can see all of them instead of clicking through pages here. So what I do initially, right? I, I clicked on necklace, but obviously if you just use this word itself, it's gonna be very you know very saturated, a lot of searches, but also very saturated in terms of competition, right? Over 50k competition and if you're just starting out like it's it's a lot harder to kind of compete with the with established SE shops so you know my strategy is just to find ones that are lower maybe lower in searches but a lot lower competition and those are the ones that are good to start with first so let's go down here right the, the important ones you want to look at are these four columns mainly the searches the average clicks and competition Click-through rate, I think that really depends, right? You know, if if the rest of them are good and you have really good pictures, this, you know, this matters, but you can do a good job on it depending on your images. So we start coming down. We don't really want to target any of these just because the competition is so high, right? You know, I mean, if you have butterfly necklaces or different ones, then, then you can. You have to hit them anyways, but we want to find ones that are a lot better. I want to reverse engineer, right? So you see over here, we got one that's super low competition, still really good uh, search volume, interaction, click through rate. Like you can see that there's a pattern here. When these are all green, this one will usually be green and really good as well because there's not many listings. So the, you know, the click through rate will be really high just because that reason, right? So if you, if you recognize this keyword, if you know, if this applies to you, then great, you should add this and start using it. You come down, you know, Chanel necklace, you know, it's a little different and copyrighted issues. So maybe we won't do that, but you okay, gotta see this one here. Sunflower necklace, you know, right now I'm just picking out different niche, right? So this, you can apply these techniques to the niche that you're doing, right? But right now I'm looking at necklaces and this one says sunflower. So, you know, if you do a jewelry store, maybe you wanna create a listing that's based around sunflower designs for a necklace, right? So you can do it that way, right? So this is a really good one. If you're in this niche, you can keep going down. Look, what is this, mama necklace? Okay, if you know, if you have something you can do with that, perfect. Uh, vote, vote necklace, all right, that works too. 
right? So you just keep going out, right? See what applies to you, right? These are, these are all good ones. These are really good if you're in a niche mushroom necklace. Maybe you want to make some mushroom necklace, like the silhouettes or something like that. And um, yeah, this is a great way to just see we can do compass necklace. So you can cool like do a little compass design um, and that works too. So once you go through all this, you find the ones you like you, and now you want to know more about it. So this is what I do next. Let's go back to the, let's go back to the um, sunflower necklace here. You go over here, you click on analyze. Okay, so now you get to get really deep into the data for this keyword. You can find out which area they're shopping from. You'll get the average price. These are all loading right now, but it'll come up soon. All right, you can get so much more stuff, right? And you come down here. This is the keyword that we looked into. Right, but over here you can get even more detailed ones, right? So maybe you can do sunflower earrings, pendants, flower necklace. I mean, high competition here, but you know, you just keep digging deeper and deeper until you find different key keywords that will work. Like right here, sunflower um, bracelet. Maybe you want to do that as well. And then you just keep finding keywords, and it's a great way to reverse engineer it and finding out what kind of products to make. Because that's, you know, essentially, this is like the best strategy to go about if you're starting something new and you want to really tap into certain niches that have no competition, where if you're the only one, then it's just always just good, right? So there it is. Yeah, hopefully you learned something from this tutorial. Um, hopefully you can apply it into your own niche. And I'm sure, I'm sure there's different ways you can do that. And uh, I plan on making more videos about E-Rank, about... Etsy, selling on Etsy. Um, so if any questions, you know, leave it in the comments below, like the video if you learned something new and uh, don't forget to subscribe. So thank you for watching. Take care.